boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about how readers understand what types of nonfiction they are reading by stopping to think what sort of text is this. This is important because it helps you to know what you can expect when you're reading a nonfiction book. The three different types of nonfiction that we're going to look at today are autobiography, biography, and informational nonfiction. The first type of nonfiction we're going to talk about today is an autobiography. An autobiography reads like a story. It has events in time order. The author writes the story about themselves and it uses text features. Let's look at the title of this story. The title is Ruby Bridges Goes to School, My True Story by Ruby Bridges. In this story, the author writes it about themselves. Ruby Bridges is writing a true story about her life. Because Ruby Bridges is writing a true story about her life, this type of a nonfiction is considered an autobiography. Here's another type of nonfiction, a biography. A biography can read like a story. It has events in time order. The author writes the story about a famous person and it uses text features. The title of this story is A Girl Named Rosa, the true story of Rosa Parks. But Rosa Parks did not write this story. This story was written by Denise Lewis Patrick because somebody else wrote this story about Rosa Parks. This is considered a biography. The last type of nonfiction that we are going to be talking about is informational nonfiction. This type of nonfiction gives information about science, social studies, history, or the arts. This can give information about how to do something. For example, how to tile a wall or how to bake a cake. This type of nonfiction also uses text features. Some examples of informational nonfiction are newspapers, textbooks, diaries, menus, encyclopedias, dictionaries, and magazines. So to review, the different types of nonfiction are biography, autobiography, and informational nonfiction. Today, you learn that readers understand the type of nonfiction they are reading by stopping to think, what sort of text is this? Today, when you read your nonfiction, I want you to stop and think, what type of nonfiction am I reading? What sort of text is this? Is it a biography, an autobiography, or informational nonfiction? Have a great day.